a male lion that, believe it or not, has moved and obviously is the same coalition member as the one that Scott's just had because there goes Scott, he's racing off in the distance following behind where that male lion was last seen disappearing off there he goes over there, he's just come past us so the big male lion walked along there, big dark maned male lion and this guy hasn't stirred at all which makes me think that they definitely know each other. They're probably part of the, They're most likely part of the same coalition. So hopefully Scott can get a good view of that line, and hopefully at some point this chap gets up so that we can see him a little better as well. I imagine that the weather down here is far nicer than it is up in James's tower, because when I look up at where James is, which is up there at the sort of the curve of the mountain, there we go. That's where James is. That is where final control is, that's where James is, and apparently he's soaking wet. I thought he was inside. What was he doing outside then? Here we go, and Angama Mara on the left. Ah. He went to go and close his tent, apparently, and got soaking wet. I think we've dodged that rain completely, Manu. I don't think it's going to come this way at all. Oh, there's the lion. Scott's on his way. There it is. It's just popped out in front of us. Oh, he is magnificent. What an amazing looking lion. I can't wait till Scott's there. You're going to have some amazing, amazing views. We'll stick with our line, though. That's Scotty's line. We'll stick with our line. Which brings us to Carter's question. Carter is 13 years old and would like to know why does the lion lie on his back? A couple of reasons. One, I think it is just something that he finds quite comfortable. Another reason, apparently, is because especially on hot days when they're lying out in the open like this with not too much shade, the pale colour of the belly actually reflects more light than a dark colour might. So, you know, just in the same way that white reflects heat and black absorbs it so by putting his lightest part of his body up to the sky it actually helps to keep him cool so that's one of the reasons Carter I think he just likes it though uh, all lions lie like this at some point and I think they find it quite comfortable he could not look more unconcerned with life I can't wait till we get a proper grasp on the different lions around here, that we can know who's who. And there we go, a question from Roshni. Speaking of things, we are still wrapping our minds around. Roshni, you want to know if this particular male, or that male, is from the Musketeer Coalition, and how many lions are in that coalition? Not from the Musketeer Coalition. The Musketeers are a little bit further to the south. Musketeers, of course, including uh, Scar, or Scarface. He's known as different d by different names by different people. Scarface, Morani, Hunter, and Sikio, the four male lions of uh, the Musketeers. Within this coalition, as we spoke about earlier, there's three that have names and a fourth one that's a bit mysterious. And the three that have names are Blondie, Halftail, Fang, and then obviously the fourth member who's a bit more confusing. I'm not quite sure who we have here. I'm honestly not 100% sure. Something we're still grasping. Linus has got her head up though. Let's just reposition so I can get some pictures. David, yes, male lions in a coalition do greet each other in a cuddly way, in the way that male lions do. They absolutely, absolutely do. And in fact, I've seen male lions being almost even more affectionate, if you can imagine it, than lionesses are to each other. They're very cuddly creatures to members of the same coalition. They are not very cuddly creatures when it comes to members of not the same coalition. I'm going to get some photos so that we can start to ID these lines. While we do, let's go to Brent, who's got some ostriches in the sand.